the market is now open. So CSSE, this one's already getting a little bit of a sell-off here. Keeping my eye on CPRX as well. That one's sitting at 516 right now. I'm going to try not to trade that one. We're going to see what's going to pop on up. TEUM is spiking hard out of the gates this morning. Coming right up to resistance. This is why I keep the trend lines drawn on my chart. 475 is going to be very tough resistance on it. So look at the past chart history here. 475, very tough resistance. And that's why that one's having a pullback right now. Uh, VKTX, this is also a high probability setup as well. I'm probably going to start a short here on VKTX. Okay, VKTX, this is one that popped up on the scanners, guys. This is one I was looking at, went over in pre-market this morning as well. I'm going ahead and starting with 200 shares on this right now at 1036. And this one is already paying off. Uh, VKTX, that was quick, guys. I mean, I'm not going to lie, that was very quick here. Let's see how this is going to react around the $10 area. I'm going to go ahead and cover there at 998 traders. So that was very quick. I wanted to go over it with you guys before that happened, but let's go over it right now. The reason I'm covering there under 10 bucks, just because we're coming down to this trend line. So oftentimes we'll crack under it, and then sometimes we buy back up above it. We're still selling off right now. Wow, BKTX, this one. <laughs> let's go over it now. We got resistance on it about 1030. 1040. It was respecting that in pre-market. Not only that, we have the 200-day moving average at about 1075. Uh, we're also overbought on it. This one had already hit 1050 in pre-market. It had resistance from Friday at about 1030. It's so a lots and lots of resistance traders. That's why when I saw this spiking up to around 1030, 1040, I was getting excited. I just got into it right away. VKTX, that one was quick traders, but it was a high probability setup, and that's why I've been consistent right now. So I'm just focusing on those pocket pair of aces. That's the trades I'm focusing on now. Did I sell a little too early? I wanted to build a position on it. I really wanted about you know, 400, 500 shares versus the 200. I uh, wanted a little bit higher up towards 1050 to build a position, get a better average on it. VKTX, let me know if you guys banked on this from the pre-market stream traders. This one ended up being a nice trade this morning. Gave us our pop right out of the gates like we wanted. The other ones I was looking at, CPRX, that one's kind of sitting stagnant right now. CSSE, this one got a nice sell-off at the start of the day as well. It's just got a spread on it, and it's a really low flow, and I just am not interested in risking that much right now. I wish I could have sold half from a bigger position, but I just can't sell half when I only have a couple hundred shares. This is going to be a shorter video because I'm going to end on this trade right here. End the first day of April on a great green note. Consistency is where I want to be, traders. There are those out there that push me to trade with much bigger size uh, or trade a lot more, but I'm just doing what works for me, guys. You know, focusing on the best setups, the highest probability setups, and having that consistency day in and day out. And as you guys know, I was telling you in the pre-market stream, and this is not April Fools. This is going to be the last uh, pre-market stream, probably for a little while here. I'm going to be focusing on ISW, helping some guys in there get consistent. If you're interested in that at all, uh, my email will be in the description. You guys are free to hit me up. I'm going to be helping some of these guys out. We keep it small, invite-only group here, helping these guys get to consistency. So traders, let me know how you guys did in the comment section below. Hit that like button, traders. Hit that subscribe button. We will see you guys tomorrow.